Back here in Connecticut, our state's top health officials are preparing for another surge in coronavirus cases here, saying it's not if, but when. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Carolina Cruz is live this morning at the State Department of Public Health with more on what we've learned about another spike in infections. Carolina? Good morning. Well, we've learned a lot about COVID-19 and how to mitigate its spread over the last few months, but there are still a lot of unknowns, and we are told by top health officials that only 5% of people in Connecticut have had COVID-19, which means that there's a large chunk of the community that still does not have immunity and are at risk of getting infected. Dr. Matthew Carter with the State Department of Public Health, he says that we need to stop thinking about coronavirus in waves and instead think of surges. This means that we'll have ongoing spread. Some places like Connecticut right now may see lower rates of infection where other places like Florida will be surging, but no distinct waves. Dr. Carter says that it's hard to predict when a surge will happen in Connecticut, but they are trying to figure out better ways to know when it's about to happen so we can implement control measures. I think uh, it's probably better to stop thinking about waves, and it is likely that we will see a resurgence exactly when. None of us can predict. Whether it goes up sharply or gradually is really up to us and, and what we do. And what he's talking about there is continuing social distancing as well as wearing face masks. Those are all measures that we can take to mitigate the spread. Coming up in our next half hour, we'll talk more about the flu season and how that will play a role in a potential surge. Reporting in Hartford, I'm Carolina Cruz, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.